In the previous lesson, we saw how we can create the basic structure of our navbar. In this lesson, we'll be looking at how to create the search and the title section. Let's see how that works. Okay, if we look at our mockup, you can see that we still have the nav section that contains all of the icons. The next we want to do is to create the section that will house all of the search and the title. In the main section, we are just going to declare our first tag. Now the first tag is going to be the tag that we house this first search. So let's declare our tag and give it the class of search. In this search, we're going to have a form. The form is going to have just one input. Then we're going to have two icons, which will be like the edit icon and the notification icon. I'm just going to declare my form and we are going to have just one input. The input is going to be of text. We can give it search. We can also give the ID search. Let's give it the placeholder of search here. You can see already. So the reason why you can see the file load immediately, even before refreshing, is because I use live server plugin in my VS Code. So you can look that up. You don't need to refresh and it's going to just serve your site for you. Now that we have the search, what we need to cater for are the icons. We need to be able to cater for those two icons. Remember the icon library that we're using, which is the Google icon. So I'm just going to search for fonts dot google dot com forward slash icon so we need notification they just search for notifications and here we have it so we can just copy this span and come back to our program we can go ahead to paste it but it is not ideal for us to just paste it. Let's just create a container so that we can do that. We can give the container a class of notification. I'm just going to paste it. And once it's on the line. Okay. So if we save, you can see that we have the notification. Let's just duplicate this and change this notification to edit. That should be the name of the icon. You can see we have the edit icon. So right now we have the search, we have the notification, but what we don't have yet is this search button. So let's see if we can embed the search just inside the search. Let's see if we can guess right. We can see that it's search. Cool. Alright, so we have the search section perfectly created. Let us see how we can create this project title and the category. Just similarly to how we created the initial one. But let's dive on. Okay, so what we need to do is to create another div wrapper, but let's see if we can comment this and just call it search. Search. Let's end it. Okay. The next segment is for us to declare the container that we ask the title can give it the class of title. In the H1, we can just say my project. First, to be able to create the input, we need a form. So let's just declare the form. We are not submitting anything yet. We need a label. 
the label that will help us to identify all of this. You can check the tutorial description for how to create a option or a selection input. We're going to call our label. Then we can say project for projects. Then in the label, we can just say sort by. Okay, let's have our select. We're going to have project, then the ID of project as well. Now, inside the select is where we're going to have all the options. If you check what we have on the design, we have recent project. Let's see if we can do that too as well. So I'm just going to say option. I'm going to give it the value of recent. Recent project. If you see, you can already see. And if you click, nothing is coming up yet. Let's see if we can populate this our option more. I just duplicated that. The next option can be, we can say finished. So let's give the value finished. Then let's have finished project. If you click, you'll be able to see two options, which makes a lot of sense. If you duplicate again, let's have like two more. I'm just going to have ongoing on the third one then we can just have ongoing project the final one can be stalled we're just going to have the stall project and if we save it that works so you can see that we have like multiple options that we can select this is going to be very handy when we have all the projects we will be able to sort each of the project based on their category and that's how we wrap it up on this one in the next lesson we'll see how we can create this project section where we'll display all the users display their projects and we'll attach category to them you can see that we also have color variation we're going to cater for all of this so that we can do the proper job with css thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one